Welcome back to my channel. This is Shan of Fashion. And for today, we will be discussing about my 2021 fashion predictions. So, I hope you'll keep on watching. But before you watch, you can get your drinks or your snacks while we discuss this topic. So, for today, I'm wearing my fiancé's Star Wars t-shirt. And I've just paired it with a underbust corset, as you can see. And my favorite accessories right now, uh, the pearls. Ayan, at mayroon pa tayong sunglasses kasi mainit dito, di ba? Summer na, so pagbigyan nyo na, malatita. And um, my daisy earrings. Ay, ay, sorry. My daisy ring. <laughs> Ayan. So, um... I think it's a bit late uh, doing this fashion prediction because it's already March. However, this is the only time I can film. Actually, matagal ko na siyang plan. Um, dapat before pa ng January or early January. However, pasok pa rin naman, di ba? Kasi first quarter. <laughs> Ayan. So, marami pa naman tayong months na pwedeng paggamitan itong um, prediction na to. And guys, please take note that this is only prediction. So, it may happen, it may not. How did I predict this? Um, of course, I based it on a lot of th things. Namely, first is the fashion cycle, the 20-year fashion cycle rule wherein uh, it takes 20 years for a fashion or a trend to die down and again for it to be fashionable again or trendy again this also applies not only on clothes or fashion industry but also in the film uh, decorations music basically the arts and then next is my influential fashion sphere what i see on the early innovators or those who set the trends like fashion magazines, we know Vogue, um, fashion brands, and of course the runways. Ano ba nikita natin when we watch the runways of this haute couture or this fashion houses? We know like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, um, Versace, and so on. Um, Dior, ayan. And, um, of course, the human behavior, we can also base it on history, di ba lahat naman nangyayari? What we need right now, right? Like, before, as we know it, the clothes people wear are also based on yung available materials or pangangailangan ng mundo. Like, pag before war, especially nung nagkaroon din ng pandemic. Like, right now, we are experiencing, sadly, the COVID pandemic. Before, we can also learn, compare, bakit naging trendy yung mga ganitong damit or accessories. So, let's go on. Let's look back to the 20-year trend rule. Siyempre, ilabas ang calculator at tayo ay magmamat, pero saglit lang to. When you compute it, yung mga years na pwede tayo magbase is the early 2000s. Of course, the 1980s, but right now, I'm not seeing a lot of 1980s, but I'm not sure. I'm seeing more of um, the 1960s, especially mod fashion and the prints, and the 1970s. Computed more way back, we can get the 1920s, which is very similar right now, right? Because before 1920s, they've experienced the influenza or the flu. Nung 1980s, that's why... 1918s, I'm sorry. That's why nung 1920s, todo bigay sila. 
that's the flapper dresses, art decos, sequins, you know, very extravagant, very glamorous, uh, feathers, jewelries, jewel tones, you know, beaded clothes, very, very extravagant. It's like celebration because deep inside people are really celebrating because the ba, ikaw ba naman ma confine or ma-quarantine or hindi makalabas ng matagal, of course, hindi mo na-express yung sarili mo. Like, right now, di ba, ang dami yung nating mga clothes na sa tingin ko, di ba, comment down if you can relate. Like, ang dami nating clothes na hindi na natin nasuot or masuot kasi wala naman tayong pupuntahan or kung meron man, um, parang <laughs> hindi, hindi, alam mo yun, hindi mo ma-express yung sarili mo. Kung meron man, gusto mo mas simple na lang because you need to sanitize everything. Meron kasing mga material sa clothes and accessories na parang pag in mo or hinugasan mo, pwedeng mag-fade or masira, ba diba? So, ingat na ingat tayo dyan sa department na yan. Like me, when I go out, like right now, I'm into comfortable clothes, very simple clothes. Kasi iniisip ko kapag ka, pagkalalabas as in <laughs> alkoholan ko pati yung damit ko so di ba may mga may mga pieces na you're very very uh, protective about it because it's very expensive or very ano yung material very sensitive that's why you choose to uh, wear clothing or clothes that are okay lang kung mabasa hugasan pa ulit ulit or maalkoholan di ba I will discuss this pieces or design that I think will go into trends but let me also discuss to you the fashion cycle or the Rogers adoption or innovation curve. This is also the trickle down theory when it comes to trends. So we have the innovators, of course, from the word innovate, they're the ones who start this clothes or this trends. Parang naisip nila, uy, parang gusto kong suotin yung corset. Wala pa siyang available sa market. So, nagdi-DIY sila or gumagawa sila on their own or pwede rin namang mga yung nakatago na sa closet ng nila or sa family nila. Like me, I don't throw away clothes. Kaya sobrang dami ko ditong damit sa bahay dahil um, iniisip ko babalik din naman yun eh. Or, kahit hindi trendy, ako kasi yung type na ano, um, actually, I'm not really into trends. I, whatever is attractive to me, trendy man yan o hindi, susuotin ko siya kung ano yung gusto ko. But of course, sometimes I also wear trends kasi nga, my main rule is maganda ba siya, flattering ba siya, bagay ba siya sa akin, ganun. So sometimes, hindi siya trendy, pero bagay sa akin, I will wear it. Sometimes naman, trend siya, okay lang. Basta nakaka-flatter siya sa figure ko and I like it. So that's it. If I want it, I will wear it, trendy or hindi. Back to the curve, we have the innovators. They are the ones who starts it. Uh, wala pa siya sa market or walang sumusuot. And then, they wear it. Next, we have the early adopters. Early adopters, they are within the influential sphere of the of those innovators. That's why they see it. They are the, the first people or community to see it. Right now, I can say that um, part of the early adopters are influencers. Why? Because if you visit their Instagram accounts or their social media, sa kanila mo unang makikita yung mga new clothes or this new innovations because yung mga designers, sa kanila pinapadala yun, di ba? Or yung mga stylists, yun yung pinapasuot sa kanila. That's why you can see it on them. Because they get it for free for it to be advertised. Because, of course, the fashion industry needs the media so that people can see it. And then next is the early majority to the late majority. When we say majority, it means mass or the masses. So this one, it's for mass production already. Marami ka nang nakikitang dupes, copy cuts. You can see it anywhere, everywhere. Nasa mall na siya. Mabilis mo na siyang ma-access. Ayun, kahit saan ka pumunta. It's where, when we say it's on peak because everyone is wearing it already. And then, of course, it dies down. Like any other trend, it goes to the laggard stage. So, it's up to you if you want to keep it. Like I said, if gusto mo siya, it's, it's flattering to your body, it makes your legs look longer even though it's not trendy, then go wear it, girl. Ayan. Diba? And some, of course, sadly, they just throw it away or they um, sell it to thrift shops or 
they DIY it. Ayan. Basically, the trickle-down effect, as you can see it in the movie, The Devil Wears Prada. So, did you guys watch it already? If yes, please comment down below. And para may interactions naman tayo. So, there's a scene where namimili si Miranda Priestly nung belt. Na si Rulian Blue ba yun? That shade of blue. And then Andy or Anne Hathaway is laughing. And then... Siyempre, ni school siya ni Miranda Priestly, di ba? Sabi sa kanya, sa tingin mo ba yung color blue na damit na suot mo right now is hindi namin pinili yan? Galing pa rin sa amin yan. Di ba? It makes sense. Why? Because uh, yung blue na sweatshirt na suot ni, And ni Andrea or ni Andy dun sa palabas na yon, basically, it's really a trickle-down effect. Because yung blue na yon pinauso yon ng trendsetter na fashion designer. For example, si Fashion House A nakita yun sa runway. And then after that, of course, the media helped it. So, fashion magazines, they featured it, of course, in the TV, in the social medias. And then, that color blue was adapted or copied by other manufacturer or mass manufacturers. Then, it dies down. So, yung blue na damit na yun ay napunta na sa thrift shops. Kaya mura na lang siya. At dun yung nabili ni Andy. So, it's still, it was affected by the fashion industry or those who are innovators or trendsetters or fashion houses. So, they are the ones who really dictates what will be in and out as of the moment. But still, again, it depends on your personal style. Diba? It's, you don't have to always um, lean on trends. Especially, um, if hindi mo naman yung style, hindi mo kailangan pilitin yung sarili mo. Like, for example, trendy yung backless, diba? Yung yung XX lang sa likod. And you're not comfortable wearing it. Then, don't wear it. You don't need to confirm to the society. You do you, girl. You do you, girl. Now, let's go on to the trend. Right? <laughs> Nag-list ako nung mga nakita ko, again, sa fashion runways and sa magazines or early innovators I know na, fina na fina follow ko or I'm a fan of. So, but first, let's start with history itself, like with human behavior. So, right now, we are in a pandemic. That's why we stay a lot at home. Or again nga, paglalabas tayo, gusto natin yung comfortable lang or yung mga materials na kahit mabasa or paulit-ulit natin is sanitize or lagyan na alcohol is um, okay lang or hindi tayo ma mahihinayang. There are, of course, trends for comfortable wear and lounge wear. Diba? Nakita, nakita naman na natin yan last year, but still, it will continue. Maybe just a little flare, different colors, yan. Which is down with the early 2000s. Because on the early 2000s, diba, as I've said, the 20-year rule pasok siya. We've seen a lot of those juicy couture um lounge wear, yung unshatter, no? Yung may hoodies and then pajamas, diba? So, Basically, it it ties down or adds up, de ba, with the trend na loungewear at the same time early 2000s. Ayan. and of course the camis, very comfortable. It's like a inner wear, but you can also make it fashionable. It's also early 2000 trends. Of course, um, the low rise jeans. It's also a uh, comfortable wear at the same time it's early 2000 trends ayan medyo nakita ko na rin siya sa runway yung mga medyo parang may nakalabas na letter B I'll put pictures for your references as always next is because of the 1920s reference we're experiencing pandemic and we want to express more of ourselves because 2021 we're still looking hoping and praying na the pandemic will end so this is our time thinking that this is the year where we can express ourselves so we can see a lot of fashion expression very loud fashion expression when it comes to colors materials i've seen mostly parang lahat ng fashion houses meron silang mga jewel tones um mat shiny materials sequins especially sequins or beads ayan so like chanel um Dior, everyone has it. Very colorful at the same time, very eye-catching materials like sequins. 
that's it because we want to celebrate we want to celebrate freedom sobra na contain kasi tayo eh kaya gusto natin parang alam mo yun nakaka-happy din sa eyes parang kahit sa clothes man lang um of course a lot of DIYs kasi 'di ba nauso nga sa TikTok na mag DIY so naisip ng mga tao kaya naman pala nilang gawin but of course these are also art works wherein fashion houses can adapt to it like crochets there will be lot of crochets ayan i've seen it in the runway especially yung again way back to the 20 cycle rule yung crochet hat i've also seen lots of dangling earrings so again it's an ex expression of you know um accessories like that and of course colorful accessories like this one like julia child jesus 90s or early 2000s yung mga beads, colorful beads, flowers, smileys, letters. When it comes to year trends, a lot of 70s and uh, 60s clothes like the Mary Janes, the mod fashion, print on prints, and then when it comes to pants, talaga namang yung mga bell bottoms or mga wide leg. Sorry, skinny jeans, but this is not your year. Ayan. Although, it can be flattering. You can still wear it again. Pero, I've seen and I can say na most of the pants right now will be very um, big. Ayan. Especially nga din naman, diba? It's, it also ties down to the human behavior na gusto mo comfortable ka kasi nga uh, loungewear or pandemic ngayon, ganyan. And the 1970s is known for its bell bottom, right? Prints on prints, hindi takot yung mga tao right now. You can see a lot of fashion houses, di ba? When, when the models walked or kung ano yung mga fini-feature nilang clothes, tinitare na talaga nila yung print on print. And there's a lot of 60s to 70s references. So, when it comes to prints, I can see a lot of checkered board prints. Sa bagay, sa nung 70s naman talaga nauso yung checkered board prints ng Vans. Doon nagsimula yun, way back 1970s also. And I've seen a lot of the checkered board and the Alice in Wonderland themes. But let's go back to the prints. There's a lot of florals, um, paisleys, geometrical like mod fashion in the 60s, checkered board prints. Um, and then also... When it comes to teams naman, let's go to the teams. There's a lot of Alice in Wonderland. I don't know, dahil ba sa Netflix na Alice in Wonderland. Guys, watch it. It's really good. I've seen a lot of teams of Alice in Wonderland when it comes to fashion houses. Her most recently is Dior. Yung isang dress or gown nila dun, it's a checkered board print. And at the same time, um, fairy tales. Fairy tales. The Renaissance, there's a lot of Renaissance references. The cottage core, the fairy fairies, ganyan. That's why there's a lot of corsets. Actually, the corset trend, it popped last year pa. But right now, I think it's already going to the peak cycle or majority cycle because it's already available even on Shopee. Marami na rin brands na nagbibenta right now. Yun, most of the cottage core kasi cottage core is also very comfortable yun nga yung pag na la lockdown ka sa bahay di ba? you all want that yung mga smokings uh, Victorian era especially nagkaroon din ng maraming period dramas right now like yung Bridgerton honestly hindi ko pa siya napapanood but I can say it's there's aesthetic but I've heard from other fashion critics it's not uh, what do you call accurate with the time but it's also a form of art. When it comes to shoes, it's also the 70s. It's the 60s because I've seen a lot of Mary Janes, clogs, ayans. I've seen Versace. Parang clog yung clog sandals yung ano nila, yung suot nila Bella Hadid. Of course, there's still pearls. Parang classic na siya, hindi na siya mawawala. But this is also part of the 60s and the 1920s as their accessories. There's also vest. Um, vests are also from 1970s. It's widely used even in the 60s. And then also uh, halter tops. The halter tops are also from the 70s but also early 2000s including the baguette bag that's also early 2000s, late 90s to early 2000s. Also, very printed pants, um, metallic materials. And when it comes to colors naman, I think... Uh, the neutrals, the brown, 
the brown shades and of course colorful shades i'm also very attracted with pastels like pastel pinks um purple light blue all of this this happy colors and so basically roaring 20s and of course the 1970s discos wherein all people are very expressive very extravagant very party party ganun nakaka happy naman so i think it's it all boils down because we're all locked down or we're facing the pandemic that's why we want something to look at like happy we want to feel happy that's why we wear happy clothes or we want to express ourselves Ayun. so that's for e that's all for it right now that's all i can see with the fashion houses with the early innovator spears i am exposed to um again these are all predictions so it may not happen but this can also be a fashion guide for you on what to buy uh, and at the same time again um you dress according to what you love you want you don't need to specifically follow trends um it doesn't mean na pag trendy so atin mo na or bilin mo na because still um, wear something that you're comfortable in wear something that really expresses yourself or kung saan mo feel na maganda ka kasi di pa ganun naman yun you need to be confident with what you wear you need to love what you wear um, you need to enjoy what you wear so I hope this fashion prediction trends for 2021 will help you and you just enjoy this information with me and so if you have any questions please don't hesitate to when it comes to fashion don't hesitate to uh, comment down below and also follow me on my social media handles mga social media handles instagram lang pala yung public ko so follow me on my instagram i also post there um, um my fashion my ootds everything about fashion and um, I hope you like, subscribe, and of course share this to your friends, your family, especially those who love to tackle or discuss about fashion. And so, see you again on my next vlog. Take care. Let me see you one, two, three.